quite populated. Uh, a few, like uh, in the 1950s, and at, at that time, I think there were actually more than 2,000 people living here, doing farming or uh, trading uh, between China and Hong Kong as, as well. And uh, but afterwards, because. You know, this island is quite remote from the urban areas, so that many people decided to uh, like move overseas to do business or move to, 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 to the urban areas in Hong Kong to find their jobs. And so that uh, nowadays actually only like 5 to 10 people stay here during the weekdays. But uh, you can see that in the weekends there are still a lot of people because they come back to this island for selling food and drinks to the visitors. Uh, some of them are quite old, but uh, also some people who are like 50 years old, they are staying here because they love this place and then uh, they also do some fishing to yeah so that they can have food to sustain themselves. And then sometimes uh, they, they ride the boats to, to the mainland China to buy some food or drinks or uh, or the gas or the stoves as well, yeah, something like that. And they certainly do not want to sell the land. And, but uh, on the other hand, they, they try the, the best to protect this land from uh, any developments. And uh, they try to promote this place as a tourist spot. And then, um, yeah, they are very welcoming to the tourists. And um, during some big festival uh, in the Chi uh, traditional Chinese festivals, uh, many of the people who who, who are already uh, immigrate to other places, they come back to here to celebrate, and then they gather the big family together. Uh, you know, um, Tongping Chao was established as a geo park so that uh, many of the developments in these villages are uh, prohibited and the government even tried to stop the, the villages here from selling food or drinks because they do not have the license but the truth is that the government uh, do not want to give them the license because they don't have the clean water supply but it's a very uh, difficult issue because the government itself is not supplying the water to the villagers. So um, the villagers are feeling that the government is not really supporting them. And so that uh, now when the geopark is established and the government is trying to enforce many different things on the people, so they, they try to uh, uh, protest against the government to ask for more supplies of water, electricity, as well as other different uh, different things. Uh, actually, we study a lot about the corals and seaweed communities here. Yeah, so we also study about the fish communities as well. Yeah, and now we are having a big project. We we um, we investigate the reproduction of the corals for a week and then we go back to CHK for some analysis of this. Uh, we have a lot of human disturbances uh, in Hong Kong on the corals as well as other marine communities um, and even on the dolphins uh, it's a big issue. So um, our laboratory actually have a lot of different projects on coral conservation and also dolphin conservation as well. I think, um, you know, and in Hong Kong we have currently four marine parks and one marine reserve, uh, but I think it's actually not enough because uh, the areas uh, that this kind of protected areas cover is really very little. So I suggest that the government can uh, uh, establish larger marine parks uh, or other kind of marine protected areas and also do more enforcement and also like uh, do active uh, conservation rather than just protecting the area itself but yeah, do more things. I think uh, now the number of tourists is optimum but um, yeah it cannot afford too many people here actually because there should be a lot of disturbances to the ecosystem here and uh, and sometimes you know 
there, there can be a, a big big group of tourists organized by uh, some companies they they don't really care about the environment here they just bring the people here but not educate them how to protect it how to uh, how to prevent uh, destroying the gut the, the displays yeah so it's kind of um, disturbance to the to this area even it is established as country park geo park yeah I think yeah more education is needed for the tourists